Hi, my name is Bert Boerland and this is Bert's screencast of the day and today I want to talk to you about an application called iStop Motion. iStop Motion is out for the Mac and on uh, iOS as well. We'll get back to that in the next episode, but this is just for the Mac. So basically it is a way of having stop motion um, animation if you would like. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. Here are some of the future features, onion skinning, uh, flipbook uh, printing, um, but let's see it in action. Uh, let me have... Here's an animation I already made and I can display it to you here, I think. So this is a stop motion video, right? You know that. Um, I recorded myself every second or so and did some tilt shifting and this is the result. And here you have the raw material. Basically what you do, you uh, uh, pick a source and a source can be, um, and a source can be uh, none. Hmm. Uh, the camera, you have, there's a camera in every Mac. Or the screen, for example, uh, but also external cameras, remote cameras. I'm not uh, active with my uh, telephone right now but my phone can also be one or another uh, camera that's connected so that's that's pretty cool uh, and here you see uh, the frames here you can see some uh, additional uh, um, um, viewing points and if you're into that this kind of stuff or backgrounds I don't like that myself um, if you go back to recordings here you have the source as I said. You can do a time lapse and say, I want to uh, uh, let me do a new recording. You could, oh, here I am again. Hmm. You could do a, uh, let me put it a bit this way. Um, so here's the source. Um, you can enable a time lapsing and say, for example, I want to do it every five seconds. Uh, do some color correction and make it a bit more. Warmish, warmish, and do for example a tilt shift, which is let me put this off. Um, this is fake, this is fake, this is fake, and then it becomes clear, right? So, this part is the part that's focused, and this part is the part that's less focused. Um, at least, here yeah, it should be. Um, so you could do all other stuff as well. For example, one of the fun things I thought that you could do is export it to a, as a GIF, a GIF, 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 or even a flipbook, which is funny as well. So you could print it and then it becomes a flipbook and then you can have it uh, printed out and cut it out and uh, make an animation of it in an offline world. Um, I think it's pretty funny. It's a good way. Uh, hope you like it. It's not a cheap application actually, it's 50 euros, dollars, I bought it in a bundle, uh, Mac Heist, then it was okay -ish. Um so maybe it will be in a bundle one day, again, and if it is, please do buy it, you can make lots of uh, fun videos with it. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you in the next episode, probably using it with my iOS device uh, for stop motion, um, using Playmobil or another game, we'll see. Okay, take care, bye.